early on first impressions right out of the box. Uh, definitely happy with what we're getting here. Hello and welcome to Photography TV. During this episode of Gear TV, we're going to be reviewing the Joby Gorillapod Plus Ball Head Professional Series. And so I wanted to review this because I actually bought it for myself. I got the inspiration from Casey Neistat and the way he uses this in his kind of selfie view. So we're going to obviously try to emulate that to some extent. But I thought, well, as I'm opening it up and giving it a try, I thought I'd do a review at the same time. So first impressions, you know, definitely heavy duty. It's got some good weight to it. I don't know the exact weight, but you can certainly check out the specs on that. But definitely has some, some good sturdy weight. In fact, if you look at the box, they're showing professional grade cameras on here. Uh, 70 to 200s, you know, big lenses saying that this can hold up. And so during this review, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to put this to the test, see if it can hold that level of gear. In fact, I've got 70 to 200 here. We'll put that to test. And then we've got a Sony A99 and a 24 to 70 2.8. So we'll put some big lenses on here, maybe hang it from a tree in the background, trying to get a, a cool shot and just really see if this can can do what it, what it said to do. But also you know, show you the, the selfie view, uh, reason I bought it specifically for that use, but we'll put it to use and, and show you what we think. All right, so here we are. We're out now by the tree, obviously, and we're going to start with the 24-70 2.8 on the Sony A99. Once I added this on, now we've got some pretty big weight, so this thing definitely has its work cut out to hang on to this. So I'm going to start with a simple tree shot. You know, not necessarily a miraculous shot I'm shooting, but the point of this video is more testing this, giving it kind of the, the all-in look. So let's take a look. All right, first tip, don't pick a tree with ants on it. That's not necessarily a good thing, but that has nothing to do with the video. Here we go. All right, so I'm just trying to strap this on to the tree here and see what we can get to hold. Test its durability here. Yeah, so you can see that's got it pretty good. I like the ball head. What I like about the ball head is I can Simply just unscrew it, rotate it as I need it. All right, so now we've got it set up there and it's holding good. It's definitely doing what we'd want it to do. So take a couple pictures. All right, so test one, pretty good. Held onto this lens good, grabbed on the tree really good, which is the whole point of the Gorilla Pod to really be able to grab unique surfaces like that. Uh, let's put the test with the 70 to 200. So here we go. This time I decided to set it up on this bench. Again, just shows some of the versatility to it, just hanging out on the end of the bench. I put it on the end of the bench too to really test, see if that weight of the 70 to 200 would pull it off. So as you can see, I, I connected it to the tripod mount on the lens, which certainly helps balance out the weight a little bit, which is good. But it definitely is doing a good job holding it. It's kind of giving me a really simple, good angle, low to the ground on the water. So. I even threw an ND filter on the end of the lens. I'm going to try to you know, slow the motion down a little bit on the water and, and make it look silky smooth. Uh, it's not ideal light by any stretch. But again, this isn't about photography as much of this picture. It's more just testing the gear. Uh, ideally, I'd come back at more of a magic hour and get a really good light shot, which I may do later this evening. But for now, uh, this just shows it really is doing a great job holding up the weight. So far, I'm impressed. First impressions, definitely happy with it. So. I'm going to take a couple shots, see if I can get something good. All right, took a few pictures, so it's working out good. It's holding it steady. Um, doesn't seem to have any camera shake or anything like that, so it's definitely doing exactly what I want it to do in this case. All right, so now the, the final test, which is really the reason I bought this, which is just to really give myself that... Uh, that selfie stick, really easy to move around, uh, tape myself as far as shooting videos, things like that. So as you can see, um, you know, setup looks good. Hopefully it looks good on the camera. It's the first time I've really done this, so we'll see if it actually works out. We'll try to compose different shots, looking right at it. So, you know, overall, really good setup here from what I can see. Uh, very happy with the Gorillapod, the Joby Professional Series. Uh, it looks like it's going to do exactly what I'm looking forward to do. So hopefully this review helped you, gave you different things to think about. We ran through a couple of different tests. We put some heavy gear on it. It's, it did definitely work the way that we'd want it to. So early on, first impressions, right out of the box. 
Uh, definitely happy with what we're getting here. All right, now it's time to go set up the tents since Jesse's on her way with the kids. So I'm gonna go set up the tent and we'll get ready to do camping for the rest of the weekend. Thank you for watching this episode of Gear TV on the Joby Gorillapod Professional Series. Great item. Check out the link below to really take a look at more specs and information about buying this product.